Hello and welcome to the Belisario College of Communications Spend a Summer Day Session. I'm Emily Miller. And I'm Gary Abdullah. We're coming to you live from the new Belisario Media Center. We're excited for the opportunity to introduce you to our Belisario College, our majors, and the many exciting opportunities available to our students. Throughout our presentation, we hope that you will reach out and send us your questions. Please text any questions or comments to the number on the screen at any time. We will be sure to answer your questions at the end of our presentation. We would also love the chance to send you some great information. If you'd like to receive a packet of information in the mail, text us your first and last name and we'll be sure to send you some information. And now, to get started, let's hear from the Dean of the Belisario College, Marie Hardin. Hi, my name is Marie Hardin and I'm Dean of the Donald P. Belisario College of Communications here at Penn State. Thank you so much for spending a summer day with us to learn about the opportunities, the challenges, the rewards, and the joys of being a part of the Belisario College and of the Penn State community. I hope that by the end of the day, two big themes have resonated with you. The first one is this. I hope that you understand by the end of the day that we are the kind of program that will offer you all of the resources you need to do great things. Yet at the same time, we pride ourselves on creating a community and sort of a small school family feeling where you're gonna feel right at home. Here's the second thing I hope that resonates with you by the end of the day, and that's this. We have a tried and true formula for success. We call it the three C's, class, campus, and career. We're gonna challenge you in the classroom to do your best work. We're also going to provide for you the kind of campus media opportunities you need to grow in confidence, to make lifelong friendships, and to prepare yourself for the third C. And that third C is career. We'll provide you with career and internship opportunities that will become a springboard to the life of your dreams after graduation from Penn State. Again, thank you for being with us and have a great day. Providing big school resources with a small school feel means that the Belisario College is ready for you. We're excited to meet you and we're prepared to support you throughout your Penn State experience. One of the best examples of our big school resources is our brand new Belisario Media Center. Last fall, we opened this state-of-the-art facility right in the heart of campus. The Belisario Media Center is home to our TV studios, the Black Box Film Studio, radio studios, comm agency, classrooms, and so much more. In its first year, the Media Center has become home to the Belisario College, and we can't wait to show you these exciting new spaces. With the opening of this new collaborative space, it is clear to see that we're focused on student success. Dean Harden introduced you to our 3C formula. This is a valuable tool that will help you navigate your Penn State experience. Throughout the rest of our session, we will be focusing on the three C's. The first C in our formula is classroom instruction. The Belisario College of Communications offers five majors. Advertising and public relations is our largest major. This is one major and students choose to specialize in either advertising or public relations. Advertising students are learning the art of persuasive storytelling and creative concepts across media platforms. Through hands-on classes, students are learning to develop campaign direction, building creative media, determining promotional strategies, and designing marketing materials. Our public relations students are focusing on economic and social aspects of media management. They are working with real-world client clients to create PR campaigns, complete market research, craft news releases, and assemble media kits. Our next major is journalism. 
Students in this major can specialize in broadcasts, digital and print, or photojournalism. Our students learn how to write fact-based journalism, craft compelling broadcast scripts, and frame images for TV, radio, online, and print outlets. Next is film production. Students in this major develop an understanding of all aspects of the film and video production process. They will explore narrative, documentary, and alternative film. Students will use state-of-the-art equipment and gain hands-on experience as writers, producers, directors, cinematographers, and editors. This major emphasizes personal expression and collaboration and focuses on technical skill. Telecommunications and Media Industries is a major that allows students to explore fundamental issues in current industry practices. Students are trained to become leaders in all forms of digital media. Telecom students can specialize in law and policy, management and entrepreneurship, or programming and production. Our fifth and final major is media studies. Students in this major study the role and impact of the media on society. This is a theory-based and research-driven major. Students analyze media messages and examine their effect on individuals and cultures. Students can specialize in film and television studies, media effects, international communications, or society and culture. As a current high school student, you might have a good idea of what your major should be. Or you may be interested in several of our majors. In the Belisario College, we're here to support you. We have a full staff and lots of resources that are here to help you discover what opportunities are right for you. My office, along with many others, is dedicated to the support and success of every Belisario student. Today, I want to give you a little more insight into these valuable student resources. Academic advising will be the key to your success. The advising team is here to help you accomplish all of your Penn State goals. I always tell the students I work with that your academic advisor is your first and most important college relationship. Advisors will help you schedule courses, explore your major, plan to study abroad, or even learn how to join the John Curley Center for Sports Journalism. Whatever you're looking to achieve, they're here to help guide you. We work hard to create an environment that's comfortable and welcoming to all students so that you can feel secure, secure enough to ask questions during your Penn State journey. The most important piece of advice I can give you is to be open and honest with your advisor. We can make suggestions that will help you explore the many options available to you here at Penn State. Now, We'd like to introduce you to one of our current students, Gretchen, as she shares her experience with academic advising. I've also built a really strong relationship with my personal academic advisor. Um, in general, I meet with the same advisor and we really have a great relationship. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And so when I come in, she's able to kind of, we have a relationship where she's able to make fun of me a little bit and be like, you're doing fine. You don't need to stress out. Like you're doing great. Here's what we're going to like set you up for. And again, she's put me up for these great opportunities, shared my name with people, written me letters of recommendation. I can email her and be like, oh my gosh, I wasn't able to get into this class. Can you please help me? And she gets right back and she's like, got you into the class. No need to worry about it, even though it's midnight on scheduling. And you know how stressful that can be when I'm like, I can't get into the class I need. I graduate next semester. Please help. Has been really wonderful. But I've also done drop-in advising and met with the other advisors and really had a very similar experience, even in the short one-on-one -on -one meetings. They've been wonderful in the relationships, very personal, very focused on me, what's going to work for me and my success is not what works for everybody. And so they really have those conversations with you of what are you looking for? What path are you trying to find has been really wonderful. And they always say that um, Belisario has like that you have the big school opportunities, but the small school feel. And I really feel that in the advising office. When I come in, I feel like I know everybody. Everybody knows me. I feel very welcome. And it really feels like a family. They all want to support me and see me succeed and just be the best college student and 
self that I can be. And that has been a really phenomenal experience for me at Penn State. Thanks, Gretchen. Now my office, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, is here to help students have the best college experience possible. We know that college can be a wonderful time in your life, but it can also be a journey full of ups and downs. We're here to help you navigate those experiences. Think of it this way. The advising office is here to help you manage and navigate your academic life. The career internship office is here to put you in the best position possible to find employment once you graduate. Now there's a lot of life stuff to work out in between those two points. The Office of Diversity and Inclusion is prepared to help you do that. Whether you need help with situations inside or outside the classroom, we're here to provide a listening ear and thoughtful guidance. We want to see our students not only survive, but thrive during their time as a Belisario student. Our goal is to make sure that each student, no matter how you identify, moves on from Penn State feeling that you are a member of the Belisario College family. Next, let's talk about that second C in our formula for success, campus media opportunities. We're referring to the student-run clubs and organizations that provide you a chance to discover your major. The Belisario College has over 30 communication-specific clubs like Com Radio, PSN TV, the Student Film Organization, Ad Club, Valley Magazine, and so many more. We strongly encourage students to join those campus media opportunities starting in the very first week of your Penn State experience. Getting involved is a great way to begin to build your resume and build your network. Our goal in all that we do is to help our students find those experiences that are meaningful, to help shape their goals, and to invest in the success of our students' post-graduation lives. Let's take a moment to hear about what our current student, Carlos, has to say about his campus media experiences. So I guess on campus, I'm involved with a number of extracurriculars. So Penn State Sports Night, PSN News, which those are two in-studio opportunities and those will set you up for the real world, as well as comm radio, you know, doing play-by-play -play stuff and whatnot. But I think those, being a part of those clubs has been able to give me that professional work experience and really set me up for internships and job opportunities down the line. I think in terms of job opportunities and internships, I think Bob Martin's your guy. He sends those emails all, literally every day, four, five, six emails at a time, constantly spamming you with job opportunities that are present. Alumni who have reached out to him and say, hey, we're hiring, we're looking for Penn State guys because Penn State people know what it's like to work in the professional job experience. As here, like I mentioned, being a part of two clubs that give you on-air experience for camera, I think if you're a journalism major like myself, that's definitely a huge plus that you're able to get in so early, get that experience and put that on your resume, on your reel, and that'll definitely help you out down the line. So definitely Bob Martin is your guy for internships. I mean, the, the ability that you have here on campus to be able to be a part of different clubs that give you that experience is a huge thing that Penn, Penn State offers for journalism students, not just journalism students, but students who just decide to come here as a whole. The third and final C in our formula is career preparation. The Belisario College has a talented staff that is dedicated to providing students with internship opportunities and preparing you for your career. We will support students seeking internships as soon as they're ready. We have a database of over 4,000 internship opportunities available. We want you to have multiple internship experiences throughout your time here. Internships can take place on campus during the school year or in a variety of locations over the summer. The Belisario College also offers two formal internship opportunities that happen off of campus. The Hollywood program and the Washington DC program offer you the chance to live in either location for a full semester and you're guaranteed a full-time internship placement. These programs are excellent opportunities for you to gain valuable real world experience. To prepare you for your career, we offer resume and cover letter workshops, mock interviews, lectureship series, and even an etiquette dinner. The Belisario College also offers three communication specific job fairs. One happens here on campus, one is in DC, and the other is in New York City. These job fairs are so successful, 
year after year in putting our students in front of the employers of their dreams. Companies like ESPN, NBC Universal, Edelman PR, Sinclair Broadcasting, AccuWeather, Discovery, Fox, MLB Network, and so many more are actively recruiting our students. The ability of this office to provide great opportunities for our students is what makes the Belisario College stand out among our competitors. Now, let's hear from Caitlin about her internship experiences. Hi, my name is Caitlin Junoel. I'm a fourth year graduating senior studying advertising and public relations from Poconos, Pennsylvania. That's like northeastern Pennsylvania, if you're familiar with it. Um, after graduation, I will be moving to Boston, Massachusetts, where I'll be working with Bose Corporation um, as part of the marketing rotational program, where over the course of two years, I'll be able to try out four different roles before picking one to stick with um, as I grow. Um, and I really accredit having that opportunity months before graduation um, to just the support and help of the Belisario College. Um, starting from my first year after that full term, I was encouraged to get my hands on the field. I got my first internship. Um, and from there, they've just helped me to really strengthen my skills, whether that's with my resume, interviewing, what have you. I was able to do a few internships during the course of my four years here. And I'm currently here in Los Angeles in the warmth, um, participating in the Hollywood program as just like my last chance of getting some more experience before I graduate. And I really do credit all that to the help of the Belisario College. We could take up a lot more time talking about all of the exciting opportunities that we are working to provide to our students. But we want to take a moment and we want to hear from you. We want to know what questions that you have on your mind after hearing a bit more about our college. If you haven't submitted questions yet, please feel free to text your questions to the number below. But before we get to your questions, I want to encourage all of you to join us again following this session at 2 o'clock for our student panel discussion. You can find us by using the Zoom link below. During this session, we will, be ha we will have current students available for you to meet and who will be sharing their Penn State and Belisario stories. This will be an interactive and open Q&A format, so we hope to see you there. Now, let's take a look at some of the questions that you have submitted. All right, our first question, uh, we have a student who's interested in sports journalism. The question is for you, Gary. All right. uh, will a student get the chance to cover Penn State sports? Ah, the big one. That's a great question. All students will have the opportunity to cover Penn State sports if that's something they want to do. Whether it be through an opportunity um, that comes out of our career and internship office, or maybe you link up with our John Curley Center for Sports Journalism, Having one of the largest varsity sports programs in the nation really gives our students the opportunity to get hands-on, real-life experience before they even leave here. And that can happen from day one or all the way up until you're graduating senior. So that is a great opportunity for you, and we encourage all of our students to take advantage of it if that's something they want to do. Thank you for the question. Great. Okay, so Gary, you want to take the next question? I'm looking here. Let me look at this one. I like this. How early can I have access to your equipment? Great question. So it is so important to keep you engaged and to keep you actively creating content. So starting from the very first day that you walk onto Penn State's campus as a Belisario student, we are bringing in you into our studio spaces, into our interactive classrooms, and we're allowing you to work with our equipment, to work with our technology, and allow you to grow and explore. This is the best way to help you understand what your major is going to look like. And it's a great way to keep you engaged, is to allow you to put that camera in your hands and to do the things that get you excited about being part of our community. All right, um, so question about when can a student, when can I get involved in clubs and organizations? Gary? Oh, clubs and organizations. Another part of the C is that on-campus experiences. So our student clubs and organizations at Penn State as a whole, we have over 1,700 clubs and organizations. And you have the opportunity to get to know about them from the first couple of weeks when they have a big club fair that happens on the hub lawn. Now, 
in the Belisario College, we have a separate student organizational fair specifically set up to get you familiarized with our com related clubs and organizations. And we really encourage you to come out to that one as well. We have about 30 clubs or so, and we want you the chance to get to know them and see what may be of interest to you. We understand that you come to this college to do a lot of things, but we want you to remember, let's start thinking about what may be in your future. And the student clubs and organizations from day one can help you doing that. Thank you for that question. I really like it. So we have two questions coming in that I would love to answer. So they're based, they're asking about the application. So question number one is when does the application period open? Uh, yes. Great timing for this question because it the application is open starting on August 1st. That is this coming Monday. So we are so excited to open up this new recruitment season. The Penn State application is available through the Common App or the Penn State application. Um, I'm going to encourage every student watching today to, to set the goal for themselves to apply during our early action period, which is anytime between August 1st and November 1st. Now the second application question is about an SAT score. Mm. Do I have to submit an SAT score when I apply to Penn State? Penn State is committed to being test optional in the 2023 recruitment cycle. So that means if you are a rising high school senior right now, when you apply to Penn State, you can submit an SAT or an ACT score if you would like, but it is not required. I can tell you with confidence that an application with a test score or an application without a test score is not evaluated any differently. I'm gonna encourage you to think about if you have a test score and if you feel like your test score is an accurate reflection of who you are as a student. If you worked hard for that score and you're proud of that score, submit that score. If you were not able to take it, an exam, then of course you do not need to submit a test score. So great question. How about um, Gary? A student wants to know, when can I get an internship? Internships. Internships are encouraged from day one if that's what you want to do. We have some students who actually come into college with internships. Some students can get an internship as early as their first semester here. And we encourage you throughout your entire time to continue to build upon the skills that you have acquired. So really from day one, if you want internships, you're going to begin to receive emails from a gentleman I like to call Bob the Dream Maker Martin. He is our assistant dean over career and internships. He'll begin to send you information about what people want from our students. And Penn Staters love Penn Staters, so there's always internship opportunities available for you. So day one, if you want an internship and you think you can handle both the internship commitment and your academics, do it. But as you continue to move on, we definitely encourage our students to actively look for internships to help round out their in-classroom education and their on-campus media experiences with real-world experiences as well. That's a great question. We appreciate that. Okay, next up. If someone is seeking a career in social media, are there campus opportunities that work with various Penn State social accounts? And is there a curriculum that, re that relates to social media? Um, yes, is the exciting answer to this question. Social media is embedded into almost everything that we do here. And understanding how we're using social media and how we're creating not just content, but what is the strategy behind social media. So you can find opportunities to really grow and explore your skill set in social media in just about any of our majors. Um, we like to think that, that students right now are digital natives, but we want to teach our students to become digital professionals. So again, this is absolutely embedded into many aspects of our curriculum here. Gary, do you want to talk about the digital media trends and analytics minor offered here? The digital media trends and analytics minor. I informally call it the get money minor. The reason I call it that is because that minor is really allowing our students to be successful as they transition into the professional world. Many of the things you see online, whether it's the, who gets a blue check on various social media websites or who is verified, who isn't, or the understanding of why somebody may get $500,000 for one tweet or somebody gets $5,000 for one tweet. There's actual science and numbers behind all that. The DMTA minor really helps with that and gives you the understanding of the analytics that goes behind all that and it makes you extremely hireable 
once you step out of Penn State University. So we, that is a minor that's very hot and growing, and I, we encourage people to look at it if that's something that interests them. We also have Com Agency here, which is the a fully functioning communications agency operating out of the Belisario College. Inside of Com Agency, we have an entire department that's dedicated to social media, again, both content creation and strategy. So this is an additional layer for students to get experience and to seek out opportunities to work in social media. Our next question is, what is the John Curley Center and how do I get involved? Oh, we love talking about the Curley Center here. So this is considered a certificate program here at Penn State. So this is an option for students to add additional credentials to their resume when they walk out of here. The Curley Center is open to students from all majors. Just because journalism is in the title doesn't mean you have to be a journalism student to be able to participate in the Curley Center. The Curley Center is both in the classroom and out of the classroom opportunities and experiences. It's our way in it to absolutely incorporate sports into your everyday career. With 31 NCAA collegiate level sports that are here at Penn State, the opportunities for our students to participate in the media connections with sports happens every single day. Gary, anything to add about the Curley Center? One of the most interesting things about the Curley Center is when people hear sports, sometimes they miss some of the larger opportunities. Who are some of the biggest celebrities in the world today? Sports athletes. So what we encourage those, those, those of you who are interested in working the red carpet one day, say the Oscars or the Grammys and things like that, if you get inside the John Curley Center for Sports Journalism, learn how to work with athletes and athletics in those type of organizations, it can prepare you for a transition into entertainment media as well. The John Curley Center for Sports Journalism is a great opportunity for those who want to be in front of the camera, behind the camera, also those who want to look at social media accounts, that's an opportunity as well. So we really do encourage all of those who maybe want to get skills in a wide variety of areas to give that consideration. Great. And the second part of that question is, how does a student get involved with the Curley Center? Um, the Belisario College, again, is able to support students at individual levels. So we are always working to make sure that our students are making the right choices and being prepared to seek opportunities like the Curley Center. So if adding this to your Penn State, is experience, Penn State experience is something that you're looking forward to, we absolutely will help you plan and pursue these opportunities. The Curley Center, you would apply to the Curley Center to join in your, your third year here, and you would work in the Curley Center in your third and fourth year. But preparation starts on day one. We're making sure you're taking the right courses, the right prerequisites. prerequisites. We're making sure your cumulative GPA is in good shape and that your application to these opportunities will lead you to success. I think we have time for one more question, and it is, how can I visit campus? Gary? There are a wide variety of ways to visit campus. You can come up on a self-guided tour, if that's something you want to do. In addition to that, the admissions office will oftentimes offer op opportunities or official programs that they also have available to you. But one of the things that we really like to see is, Emily is always available, so am I most of the time, but Emily is always available to our students. And so if you can actually follow her and she can give us, she provides some contact information to tell you how you can get in contact with her and actually set up a formal time to visit her and possibly get a tour of this wonderful facility that we have here. We, anytime you are on campus, we want to make sure that we're able to see you and really let you know specifically about what Belisario can do for you. Absolutely. If you are visiting campus for a campus tour, we want to continue this engagement. We want to bring you to this exciting new building and we want to get to know you and we want to answer questions that you specifically have about your potential here at Penn State. So please reach out and schedule those visits. We want to thank you all for the great questions and thank you so much for joining us during Spend a Summer Day. We hope that our presentation was able to get you excited about the opportunities available to you and stay in touch by following us on social media, visiting our website, and scheduling a one-on-one -on -one appointment to learn more, or reach out via email. Know that we are ready for you. We are excited to meet you, and we are prepared to support you throughout your Penn State journey. Again, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you later this afternoon.